Well now, hello. The sun's shining, it's warm, sunny day, and there's not much wind. Brilliant. So I've ventured outside and I want to make some rose hip tip wine. I've made rose hip wine before from the actual rose hips. Fantastic it is. Delicious, full of vitamin C, a great rose wine. Anyway, our rosehip bushes are taking over. They're spreading. The tips are going all secondly, beautifully, well, delicious looking they are. And I wonder if we can make wine from the rosehip tips. I know you can make bramble tip wine from the tips of bramble bushes. So why can't we make wine? from these tips. Couldn't find any recipes in any of my books or online anywhere. Has it been done before? I don't know. Can't find any evidence for it. I can't be the first person to wonder. Can we do it? Let's find out. First up, I'm going to pick all the tips and throw them in the bucket. So come on, let's go pick it. Last week, Dee was cleaning out the quail and one of them flew out through this door and ended up in the rosehip bushes behind me. Hopefully I might find it or find some eggs whilst I'm picking my leaves. Hope I do. That's an extra dinner if I do find it. Awesome. Well, I had a fun afternoon picking all those rosehip tips. Hit about a gavin, which translates to about this much. So, decent bowlful. They're not too compacted down. Anyway, they look delicious. Bug free, they're not wilting, they're not going all funny bean. No brown spots, no parasites, no black fly, red fly, green fly, any type of fly apart from, well, if you throw them. But hey, what I'm going to do Shove them into my bowl, like yada, big bowl, shove them in, get them a quick rinse earlier, so they're all oh, definitely green fly free, are oh, my rose tip, rose hip tips. Then I'm going to add in water, enough to cover them. Ideally I want to have about a gallon's worth of this wine. In with your one gallon of rose hip tips. I'm going to add two kilos of granulated sugar. I know that's two kilos, but not two kilos bag. And shove it all in and bring to the boil. Once it comes up to the boil, and put the lid on it and let it simmer for about 45 minutes or so. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do next with it. Hello again. Not you, Dodd, the camera. Our rose hip tip brew has been brewing away for about an hour now, simmering over just under the boil. Smelling fantastic, it is. Really tidy, delicious. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, strain it from the saucepan into my bucket. That's the next job. Whilst I do that, I'm going to be adding... No, that's a cup of coffee. One big mug of extra strong tea to add the tannin. So that's going in first. As I strain in 
the liquid. And try and capture all of the leaves, which I'll put into the compost heap later. Oh, what a lovely green colour it is. It really doesn't matter if a few of the leaves go in. We'll strain them out when we go into the demijohn. Every last bit of juice you want. And there we have it. And finally, I'm going to add some yeast. I'm just using your generic yeast compound. Nothing too strong, nothing too fancy. Because I want to find out if this recipe works first. Then I can tweak around, mess around and find the perfect yeast at a later date. I'm going to cover it, leave it for a week and then put it into a demijohn. Awesome. Have fun.